<laughs> so the first one was walling up. Everyone okay with that? We want to build a what? A wide wall and a? Yeah, tall or a high wall, okay? Your job is to take away their what? Good, okay? So right now, defensively, we're on the split line. Now, I'm not your player, that's your player. Okay, take a little step lower for me. Your closest hip, so your left hip, faces me, so you can see me. You look straight ahead, you can see both your player and me, correct? Now, why do you get your hands out for? Excellent answer. Most kids go, so I can see both. Well, you don't see with your hands, do you? You see with your eyes, okay? So you're getting taught some great things by your coaches here. So hands, uh, get in a stance. So your hands are up to get deflections, okay? To make it look like there's less space for people to pass to. So what I'm gonna do here, I'm gonna take a bounce. And you might do a quick hedge, you might not do a quick hedge. It just depends on how aggressive I'm going. But for the sake of this drill, I want you to do a quick little hedge. So you're gonna jump at me and get back. Okay, we all know what a hedge and recover is? Yep, so as I take a drill, we're gonna hedge, and I'm gonna throw the ball to your partner. Now, you can't steal my passes, okay? You're not allowed to do that. Your job is to try to meet your player on the edge or just outside the charge circle. Now, as you get to here, you're only allowed to do one thing, and that's be able to catch and jump up to score. You can't shot fake, you can't dribble, all right? You gotta catch and finish straight away, all right? So we're gonna kind of play into the hands of the defense here. You're gonna quickly hedge, get back outside the charge circle, and jump straight up in the air. And we call this verticality, jumping straight up in the air. Now your hands don't go where do you think? Over. Yeah, they don't go forward, because what might happen? Foul. Foul. So when you get bumped, you wanna throw your hands back if anything, okay? Make sense so far? Yeah. All right, let's see how we go. And then we'll revise, ready, go. All right, hold there. So, rewind. You ran to where he was. Where do you want to run to? Yeah, where he's going. Okay, because if you start running to where he was, by the time you get there, he's going to be past you. So your job is to quick hedge and then quickly turn and sprint and get to here and jump straight up. We don't want to jump from the side because, again, there can be body. And then what ends up happening is if you jump to the side and he lands here, you take yourself out of the rebounding opportunity. All right, the other thing we don't want to do is as the ball gets thrown here, you jump through to try to block. Because now you've taken yourself out of the rebounding opportunity as well. All right, ready? Have another little demo. Go. Not too bad, let's go again. Switch, next two over, next two in, next two in. Let's go, quick, three, two. Can you see your player? Just take a little stats, come a bit higher. Bring your left hip toward, there you go. Stance, bum down, hands. Hands, up high, up high. Ready? Not that high. There you go. Quick head, go. Get there. Hold up. See, what, what did you end up doing? You took yourself out of the rebounding. rebounding opportunity, right? So let's go back. Ready? Low. Go. Get there. Oh, hold on. We did it again. Let's go again. When you shoot it, you can get the rebound and score again. Okay, remember there's multiple scores. All right, I'll work on that. Next two, let's go. Pass the ball. Stance. Quick hedge and then go. Let's go again. Let's go again. Ready? Pardon? It's multiple score, right? Correct, so you can get the rebound score again. Ready? Go. All right, hold there. Rewind. So we're trying to make this a bit of a defensive drill. We all agree? All right, so offense, you're starting to shoot little floaters. I want you to be able to get the ball and jump into the D and then finish, okay? I don't mind if you miss shots here, it doesn't matter, okay? Only the rest of Australia is gonna see you miss a shot, it's all right, okay? But I want you to catch it, get hit and finish. Yep, and your job is just to get to the position and take the hit. Ready, go, get right in there, take a hit. Good, but what can't we do? We can't fake. You just gotta get it and go. We'll build, we'll add a layer, and we'll progress to the point where they can dribble, they can fake. But right now, it's just getting the verticality down pat. Ready? Last one, and then we'll switch it over. Go, quick hedge. Come back, can't steal my passes, all right? Ready, start lower, lower. Ready, go. Let's go again. Last one, ready? Quick hedge. 
There you go, not too bad, not too bad. But what are we not doing? Or what are we, we're not giving the ref the opportunity to call a foul because our hands are up, we're getting good position, we're not going forward. Will the ref call a foul? Yeah, perhaps. Will they make a shot? Yeah, perhaps. But great offense will always beat great defense. Just got to accept that, right? Your job is to not try and do what? Foul, foul. okay? This time, you're able to have a fake, you're able to have a dribble. So now you can't just kind of go, oh, I'm just gonna run and jump. You gotta read the play. Does that make sense? You're the smartest one here, right? <laughs> you're supposed to say yes when I ask that question. All right, good, there we go, ready? Here we go. Good, move your feet, wall up. Good, let's go again. You're probably giving him too much what? Yeah, ready, let's go again. Go. Stay on the ground, ball, wall up, good, good. There you go, much better. But what can we do offensively? Um, yeah, but after the shot goes up. Rebound. Rebound, all right? Let's have a little bit more competitiveness to it. Here we go. Quick, go. Not too bad. Let's go, let's go. Ready, hedge. Not too bad. You're making every shot. You're making this not look like a defensive draw right now. Ready? Miss a shot for me, Lucas. Ready, go. <laughs> yeah, but not on purpose. All right. Now, you can have the offensive play. So I'll show you the progression we can do. One offense, here. One defense. I need a defense there, offense there. So you can just play this out of the situation, right? So I need a defender here. Comment, let's go. It's not that hard, right? So, Cody, yep. you're going to be up on his hip. So he's going to stand right here. Now we'll break this down in a second. You're just going to be a defender here. Just so we make it more game like, right? You can't score, you can only pass it. Yep. Don't get too fooled by that. Ready? Stance. You can only take one bounce and then go. You're just guarding this for a second, and then you tour out, and then we can change over. Ready? Go. Good, hands up, stay there. Wall up, wall up. You guys are making a lot of shots right now. This is, I mean, it's great that you're making shots. Okay, let's flip over and change this side. Here we go. And you can just build layers, add in different scenarios. You might work on baseline drives, but it's teaching them to kind of hedge and get back, right? Here we go, go again. Just take one bounce and pass it. Cody, I want you to stay on his hip a little bit more. Don't give him a straight line drive. Get into his hip. Wall up, wall up. Good job, much better, okay? Now, do you boys need a drink? You good? Fantastic, all right. Yep. So you're teaching that the hedge and then retreat back to your man. Yep. How does that compare to the full help? Yep. How should they be looking at Yep, okay, so give me an offensive player here, defensive player here, and an offensive player there. Most dangerous person on the court is? Person with the ball. Person with the ball. So it's a decision-making element for that player, and we'll, we'll build, we'll add to that in a second. We can, I can show you towards the end. We weren't going to go through much decision-making on defense, but I can show you some drills, right? All I do is I put this person at an advantage to start with offensively. So like I had Cody standing on his hip before, so now he's making a decision whether or not to help. So now when he drives, he's deciding, well, am I kind of staying with him and pushing him this way, or has he beaten me? Rewind. And then I just progress it to, well, I just have him standing here now. And now I progress to just having him level off. So have that player make a decision. I guess the biggest, and this is what I always got taught, I always got taught to help on defense. Always got taught to help on defense, especially on a baseline drive. When the biggest problem nowadays is not that we don't help, it's that we over help. So this player will drive baseline and this player will just help. The best way to get better at that, just practice. Practice and break down drills. And so it's about teaching that player to read where the player is, like offensively and defensively. How do you know if you need help? Or how, sorry, how do you know if I need help? Uh, 
A couple of ways. Good, so I can yell out, help. help. Okay, and you can also see me get what? Beat. Okay, I mean, they know the answer. They just don't practice it enough to be able to put it into play.